Welcome to today's tutorial. Here is how to draw a circle in AutoCAD. But starting here, I will assume you can easily draw a line. Let's first look at where the circle command is located and how to activate it. The icon to activate this command is located on the upper left corner of your main window. To activate the circle command, simply click on the circle icon. The command for the circle is C. In AutoCAD the most obvious and straightforward method is to click on the circle icon. Then you need to specify the center of the circle with a click in the drawing area and then enter the radius value of the circle. Sometimes the information you have about the circle you want to draw is neither the center of it nor its radius. This is where comes other option of the circle command. The other option you can use is the center diameter. If you are using this option to draw a circle, you will simply need to repeat what we did earlier with the only difference that you will have to enter the value of the diameter of the circle instead of its radius. The next option you can use is two points. This option helps you draw a circle using two endpoints, where the two points will belong to the perimeter of the circle. To use this, we need to activate the circle command and then specify the first point. And after that, we need to specify the second point. The other option you can use is three points. This works absolutely like the preceding one. The only difference is that instead of two points you have to indicate three points. The next option we have is tan tan radius. In this, we need to provide two tangents and a radius value to draw the circle. The last option in the circle is tan tan tan. The tan 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 uses three tangents to draw the circle. We have just covered all the methods you can use when you want to create a circle in AutoCAD. Some of these methods might not make sense to you at the moment, but it is always good to know what the possibilities are, just in case they might come in handy sometime in the future. I hope this topic is clear to all and in case you are facing any doubt. Kindly drop any questions or doubts in the comment section. The next topic will be the modification commands. Kindly subscribe to our channel in order to receive the latest updated videos and do press the bell icon to receive all notifications.